Hello, and welcome to my presentation on the tradable permits mechanism and the case studies of the SO2 program and the reclaim program. Today I hope I can answer the question for you. Why do we care about markets in air pollution regulation? The SO2 program has proved to be extremely successful. It has saved an estimated 1.6 billion annually relative to a counterfactual using command and control. And perhaps more importantly, it shows that innovation can lead to significant reductions beyond initial cost estimations. Now, our second case study, Reclaim, is focused on a much smaller geographic area, the Los Angeles Metropolitan Basin. The Tradable Permits Program failed. And the reason for that was because of the impacts of the electricity deregulation in California in 2000. Now, as you can see, the permit prices skyrocketed from $5,000 in 1999 per ton to upwards of $45,000 just a year later in 2000. As a result, the reclaim administrators faced tremendous political pressure and ultimately canceled the tradable permits program in favor of the older command and control technologies. In these two case studies, we can derive several lessons that we can use in the future to ensure that tradable permits programs will be both cost-effective and successful. First of all, and perhaps most importantly, is the need for a banking mechanism to allow firms to save excess permits for the future. The SO2 program, as you can see in this figure, had a banking mechanism, and thus firms accrued a significant bank that they could use to avoid shocks down the line. Alternatively, the reclaim program did not. And as a result, firms had little incentive to undertake emissions reductions beyond what they had to to meet their permit requirements. This left firms quite vulnerable to sudden shocks to the electricity market, such as the deregulation that happened in the year 2000. So, in summary, tradable permits offer a lot of potential for the future. The SO2 program shows that we can achieve significant gains at significant cost savings if permit programs are designed carefully. However, the reclaim program failure shows that it is important to undertake these lessons that we might gain today to ensure that failures don't happen again in the future.